everybody, Bernard Crater Megaliths and Surface Anomalies on Mars. The photograph we're analyzing is called Bernard Crater and I'll include the link below. Acquired on the 3rd of November 2007 at 25 centimeters per pixel. There's a crop from the low res JPEG and the anomalies we'll be looking at are located in these gullies to the top left. And uh, this area of the image, top left of Bernard Crater, located at 22.90 degrees south, 205.01 degrees east. There's a look at the topography, very similar to Asimov Crater, which I'll show you at the end of the video when we zoom in on these areas and we're analyzing this high-rise photograph located to the left and the anomalies we're looking at were discovered in these gullies to that side of the crater so the first anomaly we're looking at located in the center of the screen and then we'll look at this one to the right this one over here in the center measures about 12 meters by 12 meters very eroded, but we can see uh, three of the straight edges and then sticking out of the one side we've got a rectangular feature with a little sphere or knob to the one side and then on top of the larger surface we've got this sort of pyramidal knob or feature as well and then this uh, hexagon shaped object to the right that measures about 12 meters across by about let's say 8 meters wide and uh, it seems to be lying on top of another rectangular block that's partially buried that one also measures about 10 meters across I'm not sure how long it is could be about 20 meters long or is this part of one object with this uh, piece sticking out like metallic debris perhaps so let's zoom in on that we can see the bottom piece roughly rectangular in shape and then this uh, hexagonal shaped object on top and it looks as if it's partially raised off the surface on the right hand side other anomaly right there in the center measuring about 12 meters across and uh, we've got this sort of shield for a lack of a better word to the left and then this larger structure on the right it's also in a hexagonal shape we can see six of the sides in a sort of a concave side there it's what looks like a little dome or knob there to the top so what could this have been perhaps a natural boulder but it's got some geometry and symmetry in this design in one of these megalithic blocks which is about six meters by five meters see straight edges right angles and then this rectangular slot indentation carved into the one side so here we're looking at uh, this object to the middle left another one of these uh, saucer shaped objects with a dome in the center partially buried and uh, this thing's about 12 meters in diameter and it's resting against this uh, rock or boulder could that be a top of a craft that crashed over there and then we're looking at uh, this debris over here in the center of the screen and this block is about 6 by 6 meters this one 8 by 8 but straight edges, sharp right angles and then uh, 
I did brighten this when I was doing the research and you can see another one of the sides over here that's definitely a block and uh, then this strange uh, object to the bottom with a rounded arc side to it there straight edges and a right angle over here and on top of it we seem to have um, some sort of symbolism perhaps here we got a straight line 90 degrees straight line 90 degrees and another straight line almost like a Z or a Z and there we've got what looks like a rectangular part carved into it there maybe that's a little opening and then some more strange uh, indentations another one of these blocks also about 6 by 6 meters you can see one, two, three of the sides, smooth surfaces, straight edges, and a right angle there. And then the surface anomalies, which look like um, some activity, a natural activity that took place. We've got um, what looked like rectangular areas that have been carved into the Martian surface. And there's another smaller one right there. Also, the lines running diagonally across the screen, so there's some geometry to this shape. So what could have caused this, like an open pit mining quarry perhaps? And this is huge, you can see from the scale indicator, this is about 80 by 60 meters. There's the next one, very similar, also with a smaller rectangle to the right hand side. See, this was a square at one point. And check out the ridge line there, very similar over here as well. So, could that be an indication of the type of technology that was used here? This one's about 50 meters by 50 meters. And then this other one, also with this strange ridge line on either side. And uh, we've got, what, about 70 by 70 meters. Also it looked like a square. Perhaps these were structures. You can only speculate. So let me know what you think in the comments below, please. And uh, Google Earth Mars taking a look at the topography and location of this area we just analyzed and as you can see as Bernard crater a circular depression I would rather call it um, their classification is it's a crater but I speculate that this is more a circular depression like Asimov crater we'll go and check that out now soon as well so let's switch on the mosaic get a nice higher res and the photo we looked at is this one here taking a little long to load there we go and uh, the anomalies we saw located in these gullies of here so let's get an aerial view an elevated view of that site the topography is rather flat not what you'd expect from a regular crater so check here there's, there's the rim and uh, we checked out this gully here. Yeah. Other artifacts, let's first check what I just showed you, some of the anomalies and then um, quite some time ago I found these. Check out this object, it's like a little pyramid with an opening on this side, like a triangular opening. Another strange megalithic block with some uh, 
pieces carved in there. Lots of geometry in that shape, and then this block up here with some surface features or symbols on this one side. So let's quickly check out um, Asimov. You see the similarity in the so-called circular depression. I think this is it, yeah? No, it's not on that line. <coughs> Pardon me. I think it's down here. Yes, here we go. Check out that. This is Asimov. Also, with these gullies along the edge. Let's see if they call this. Yes, they call this a crater and also a circular depression. So, looking at some of the anomalies that. Uh, Myself and my friend Saturn Ark discovered here. We've got another block with what looks like a football next to it, like a rugby ball. Another block, some symbolism on it. Check out these blocks. This is a zoomed out view of this wall. These massive square blocks, like Rubik's cubes. And this sort of arch, uh, we speculate this is an arch, and that there is the sun shining through from the left to the right. And this is about 22 meters by about 8 meters. And then this huge block, also about 22 by about 14 meters, with this strange square piece cut into that one corner. So that's it for this video. To my new subscribers, thank you for joining. I hope you found this interesting and worth your while. And to my current viewers and supporters, thank you very much for your support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.